The Comelec Om Bank, which is sitting as the National Board of Canvassers, has resumed the canvassing of votes. Let's get the details from Greg Gregorio, who joins us live from Pasay City. Hi, Greg. What positions are being canvassed right now? Sean, the uh, National Bureau, the, the Comelec Con Bank, sitting as the National Board of Canvassers, or I mean, is canvassing votes for uh, Senate for senators and partilist groups, as uh, happened in the more since the NBOC resumed session this morning, they were able to canvass at least 28 COCs from various parts of the country, as well as from uh, uh, overseas voting, including the seven areas yesterday. Day, the NBOC has already canvassed about 35 COCs and the last one to include in the canvas is from Isabella. At 2 p.m. this afternoon, the Comelec on Bank sitting as NBOC will again resume their session. Sean? All right, Greg, when will the canvassing of votes end? So on yesterday, Comelec Commissioner uh, Marlon Casqueo said it would be possible for them to uh, uh, proclaim or finish canvassing within the week. Earlier today, uh, acting spokesperson Rex Laudianco said with the pace of our canvassing, that would be possible and that is the best case scenario. But uh, according to Commissioner George Garcia, this would still depend on, uh, on possible eventualities, including uh, uh, scenarios or uh, conditions from overseas voting as there are some countries or uh, embassies who are not able to uh, uh, transmit electronic copies of their uh, uh, certificates of canvas to be exact there are there are two uh, overseas uh, uh, there are two COCs from overseas uh, voting that according to Garcia will be manually uploaded or manually checked here at the NBOC today with that Garcia said it could also be possible that the proclamation might happen by the weekend Sean all right, Greg, there have been uh, these videos circulating online about, um, you know, policemen tearing up ballots. Uh, did the Comelec have any comment on that? Yes, Sean, according to uh, acting spokesperson Lex La Rex Laudianco, these uh, videos have been included in the agenda of the Committee on the Ban on Firearms and Security Concerns. Apart from this, this videos, this videos rather, will also be referred to the National Bureau of Investigation. Recall that uh, uh, these videos have been uploaded by uh, uh, individuals from Cotabato City. And recall that in Cotabato, all, all, all those who serve as Board of Election Inspectors are policemen. Thus, according to Laudianco, this will be part of the angles that, will, that they will be taking in to their investigation. And uh, Laudianco uh, promised that uh, the Comelec will investigate this thoroughly and they will be transparent with whatever results they would have with their investigation. Sean? All right. Uh, speaking of things going around online, is there any truth uh, to this thing that's going around that the Comelec has ordered the PPCRV to halt vote counting? Sean, Director Laudjanko or Attorney Laudjanko uh, denied that uh, information. According to Laudjanko, though uh, the PPCRV is working with the Comelec, PPCRV is not under Comelec. Thus, Laudjanko said they would never order PPCRV to halt their uh, counting or their uh, uh, activities in relation to this uh, 2022 national or local election. Sean? All right, uh, Greg, is the Comelec seeing any possible delays in the proclamations of the winners of this year's elections? Sean, when it comes to senatorial, when it comes to proclamation of senatorial candidates winning in these elections as well as partilist groups, according to the Comelec, the uh, proclamation for the winning senators might be within this week or by the weekend. But when it comes to partilist groups, according to uh, the Comelec Commissioner George Garcia, this will depend on the uh, 
numbers of uh, the votes as they would have to uh, include or would have to finish tallying, to finish tallying all of the votes in the 2022 elections for them to finish the computations of which partilist groups will be, uh, will be uh, uh, proclaimed as winners for the 63 available seats at the Congress. Sean? All right, thank you so much for those updates. Greg Gregorio reporting to us live from Pasay City. Thank you, Greg.